Welcome back. The Hamilton County Board of Elections is looking into some possible voter fraud tonight. Soon the voters at the center of that investigation will have a chance to explain themselves. Nine on your side, investigator Jason Law digging deep into this case and who the elections board is questioning. Jason? 28 subpoenas, that's 19 Hamilton County voters and nine witnesses who still need to answer questions to satisfy the Board of Elections. Now, this is an unusually high number. Board of Elections Chairman Tim Burke told me just a little while ago in 2008, there was only one. Now, for months following election 2012, the board has been investigating anomalies in voting. They started out with around 80 suspicious cases and whittled them down to 19. Many of the cases turned out to be simple misunderstandings, but there are still a handful that need to be explained by the people who cast ballots in November, sometimes two ballots. And that includes a poll worker who may have voted twice. Board Chairman Tim Burke is here to explain that case. The reason why she was called to our attention is because she had voted an absentee ballot and then also appears to have voted at her polling place where she was working. She shouldn't have. Um, we're going to give her the opportunity to come in and explain to us why she did that. Now, Burke says many, if not all, of those 19 voters have not explained their stories to board members, so many of these cases can still be resolved without criminal prosecution. The two hearings for those voters who have been subpoenaed to appear are scheduled for the 15th and 22nd of this month. Carolyn Clyde. That'll be interesting to watch, Jason. Thanks. Traffic